Hi guys, this is Delaroy Studios. Uh, welcome to another episode of Android Programming. Uh, my good friends, I want to share with you the source file of a full-blown calculator application in Android. So, this is a full functional calculator uh, with lots of functionalities. You know? uh, we'll be looking at the source files and also uh, testing it in the emulator. So, so we can actually have a few of how the application runs. All right, uh, we're moving straight to Android Studio, uh, which is our development environment. And we'll first of all be looking at the Gradle uh, files, uh, the Gradle scripts, the module app and the project app of the Gradle. Let's look at the module where we have the dependencies, which are very, very important. Okay, uh, we have the compile files, libs, arc, Hart engine dot jar, you know, we have the libs rt 2.16 jar, the our jar files, we have the ejml 0.21, and we have the slider, you know, all these are being included from the libs folder. You can get the libs folder through the project directory over here, the app, got the libs folder. That's where you find those jar files, you know, included as a dependency. These are included manually, you know, because the application is actually coded using the Eclipse, you know, and uh, we need to import appropriately to the Android Studios environment. All right, I'll be moving back to the Android uh, directory. All right, let's look at the build Gradle, uh, the project session. We only have class parts for the build. Which is 1.5.0 that's fine uh we have the layout files but we have the advanced card xml the punch the function because we're talking about functions card xml the graph link graph pad the x the decimal you know that's it link the x decimal pad the x the history entry the history panel and also the main xml there will be a lot of matrix if you're good in our uh, mathematics we have to do some matrix, uh, the clink and the pad, the preferences, and we have the widget XML. Okay, I'll be looking at the main XML, which uh, is the okay, the main XML file of this application. The relative layout, you know, with the width and height, match parents. While the linear layout is right inside it, the orientation is vertical. Another linear layout follows. While the orientation now is horizontal, if you notice this tag, cam uh, dot Android, that's the uh, the directory of the uh, of the package calculator display. You know, this is actually going to display the calculator with a maximum digit of fourteen, calling from the integer uh, file. All right, we have for the scroll scrollable display. You know, calling the styles. And also uh, the display style, rather, you know, we have for the calculator display. You know, these are the packages and their corresponding uh, UI. We have the image button. You know, it is a button. There is an image button. We have button and also image button. Definitely, is going to be depicted by a drawable file where you can see here. Okay, calling the IC menu overflow. And the background is also calling from the men menu underscore bg all right uh we have the frame layout a match parents all right and also we have the color button okay where we have clear and the wait night match parent it's fine also for the color button well we have the text delete the frame layout has been closed there all right we we'll move and also the linear layout has been closed we have the relative layer that followed afterwards where we have the slider okay and also we have the calculator view pager we have to include lots some uh, xmls here the simple clink underscore clink you know this is the xml right in the layout files uh, folder we have the matrix clink the x decimal clink and the graph underscore clink all right, all these are being included in the main XML because the main XML is the UI of the application. 
and we have the closing relative layout all right because of time i'll be going through all these xml files i will upload the source files to my github account so that you can pick it up from there and you can also look at all xmls being talked about in the course of coding up a full-blown calculator application i'm actually exposing this uh source files to you guys so that my good listeners can just get their hands dirty on um a full-blown application you know this is a full working application all right uh we have the drawables where we uh we have the egg and png the graph png for the functions the graph plus uh the x png for the log png we have a lot of png files inside the drawable all right let's look at our java class wow okay our java class now we have the view directory and also the main directories we have the base model the calculator the calculator at the table uh the settings the widgets the equation formatter the event listener the graph graph model history the history adapter and also its entry you know the matrix the page adapter preferences small page adapter lots of uh java classes here let's look at the calculator that's going to be the only class we're going to be talking about because that's the main class where we imported a lot of stuff the animation accelerator interpolator and also the pop-up menu on menu item click listener we also call on um, the package with the uh, calculator display class with the calculator view page class and also the king the extrary line you know we actually included uh, some uh, some child uh, class inside its main activity activity which is the calculator class uh if you notice we extend the activity and implement a lot of stuff logic listener or click listener or menu item click listener calculator view page and we set a lot of fields there you know for the event listener the history the last view this adapter calculator view page the graph and so on okay we have the new um method which is panel where we call on the set order passing a parameter into your order we also have for the small panel method all right the same goes for the large panel and our own create method is quite embedded where we disable the ime for this application you know we set this flag appropriately and also call on the corresponding id the panel switch the small panel the large panel okay if the m clear button equals to no the m clear button gets its id clear and also set on click listener m listener and set on long listener m listener okay the if statement for the m backspace button we set the delete mode the line length and also the pager if not equals to no set this adapter set the current item set the on page change listener okay i'll be stopping here concerning the classes because of time i don't want this tutorial to be lengthy since the source code is going to be available all right let's look at our manifests the android manifest is very important in any android application okay uh we have uh the minimal sdk and also the metadata of the application where we call on the multi window and the, the default size of the multi window based on the weight and height of different vips okay and the activity in question which is the calculator class which is calling almost all other classes uh, we have an intent filter here that uh, is going to actually handle the main the default the launcher the app calculator and the motor window with launcher also we're going to be including the activity of the preferences 
and the receiver here is going to be the calculator widget okay all right and the intern filter we will call on the app widget update while the metadata will be calling from the calculator widget info there's going to be an, a widget for this uh calculator okay i'll be launching this uh in my emulator so that you can be able to see it clearly it's going to be launched in your emulator as well or in your real device i'd like you to test this uh on a real device so that you can actually get a full grip of what this application is capable of doing okay okay um we have our calculator application being launched and i would like to just do a sort of uh, addition on one forty plus ninety eight equals to thirty eight. My emulator is malfunctioning. Punch ninety six times two equals one ninety two. All right, that's fine. I think I think I think this app this application is fine and ready to go. Punch 71, 771 divided by 5 equals 54.2. All right, thank you very, very much, my good listener, for hanging out with me. Try this uh, calculator application in Android. And don't forget to get my source code by my GitHub account. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.